This team isn't even that good. <laughs> it's a cheesy cake. Cheesy Poets is kind of good too, though. Because I was, I was, you know, I had a joke in my head. And the joke was something like this. Poets, sorry, I didn't run the casino. Sorry, sorry, I forgot about the important part, the casino. Poets will really be like, oh, I'm so fucking sad. Oh, I have such a tortured soul. The only way I could possibly exercise my tortured soul is by writing it down and making sure that the last the last word of the second line sounds very similar to the last word of the fourth line. Oh, the only way I could possibly express my pain is to do it in such a way that the last word of every line sounds a lot like the last word in the line that preceded it. That's just music? Well, we've, we've done this bit before. I always laugh when people are like, hey, that song's not good because they broke a rhyming rule. You really judge like your favorite music based on how much they adhere to how, how much the words sound alike? You know what you should listen to? Pentatonics. One, two, three, four, five, five, wonderful voices. Bow. Best poems don't rhyme. For example, baby shoes worn, never worn. By the way, not the saddest story ever written in five words. Because it's four words. Wait, no. For sale, baby shoes never worn. Six words. Okay. Saddest story in six words. For sale, baby shoes worn once. That's a sadder story. No, maybe the baby just outgrew them. Okay, maybe the baby didn't like the shoes. For sale, baby shoes never worn. They never fit in the first place. For sale, baby shoes worn once. My baby was kidnapped by aliens the first time we put the shoes on. But they left the shoes. You know, you gotta use your imagination sometimes. Now five is such a magic number. Cause five is how many there are in our band. I forget this is on Sesame Street. If you know, then you know. That pentatonic Sesame Street song is a banger. It's the, probably the worst song actually ever created and I'm not even joking. One dude in pentatonics where the whole song just goes that's all that's his job in the band that's what acapella is yeah it fucking is like so cheesy it's it's so incredibly cheesy that was that's what makes it a good song you you're the one who's out gobby out of his mind yeah, now Elmo's got the moves is what it's all about. Anytime, day or night, na 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 Elmo's got the moves. Gonna be burp, swizzling in a boop. And that, now that's actually a slapper. Chills, chills. I didn't just learn what acapella was. Is only after listening to Sesame Street did I realize how bad it is. No offense if you're in like an acapella group inspired by pentatonics. I'm sure like it's not nice to hear the things that I'm saying right now. Hey, at the end of the day, you know, you can console yourself by acknowledging I'm just one person and my views only represent the plurality of human beings, maybe even the majority, but not everybody. Okay, get stronger, get tankier, get stronger, get tankier. Makes me that much wiser. Thanks for making me a fighter. You know, when you really think about it, Christina Aguilera is kind of an acapella singer. Like, she, she's not playing an instrument while she sings. I'm dead. She's singing acapella, and then there's just like people behind her playing instruments. I don't see why she should get a lot of credit for that. 